Hi guys, it's AG Faith with Samantha, and it's really late, but I have to get this video up today. As you guys know, it is 9-11, and sorry if you hear crickets chirping, it's Blaze's crickets, but um, it's 9-11, and I just thought that I'd do a little talking about it a little. I mean, I haven't done anything like this before. I spent a lot of time thinking about what I should say. Um, my sister helped me a little bit. My family helped me. We researched some stuff. We It's all over the news today, and um, I just figured that I would, um, you know, just talk a little bit about it. I'm not going to do too much. I'm try, going to try to keep it short. I'm doing it on my phone, so if it's a little bit shaky, I'm really sorry, but I just want to get this video up without having to edit it. So, yeah, because I'm already editing a video. I'm already editing Pine Grove, so, um, and uploading it, so hopefully, um, that will be up today, because I've been having issues with it, but let's not get into that. We're gonna get started. So this is what I said. All right, on September 11th, 2001, at 8.45, the first tower of the World Trade Center was hit by a plane. Picture that, guys. Everything's perfectly going normal. It's like a busy work day. You know, you're going about the, your business and then a plane comes into your building and you're killed instantly. Seeing that from afar would just be horrifying. I was looking at it on the news, seeing the second plane crashing into the building and it just, all I could do was just, I couldn't speak. I was so surprised and amazed. Not amazed in a good way, amazed in a bad way. This action was originally thought to be an accident. You know, oh, someone probably just, like, did it by accident. It's not a really big deal. We're just going to call a couple of fire departments, and then um, that should be good. Only one accident. It's not really a big deal. And then the second tower was hit at 903. Silence. The world was flashing before people's eyes. Bam. Just like that, everyone realized that this was no accident. It was a terrorist attack. Now, I was watching the news, or, like, the little video that they had of that day, and the girl said that the second plane flew past Battery Park and straight, boom, into the second tower. And I watched that on, like, the news part, and that just, they replayed it so many times that... It made me flinch every time. And for several hours, people struggled to get to the bottom floor, risking their lives. Police officers, fire department, everybody risking their lives to get there. Many people dying in the process. Many people were never heard from again. The whole street was filled with onlookers, police, firemen, and people crying. This, this was happening in New York. And But another hijacked plane hit the Pentagon twice. Well, tried to attempt it twice. The last hijacked plane was stopped before reaching the destination be because the tourists that were on the plane all decided to basically gang up on the hijackers. And then the last thing that the hijackers said was, God is great. They think that they're going to be glorified in heaven because of this, but they're not. And that's the saddest part. And people died saving other people. How ironic is that? It truly amazes me that they did that for some other people. And as the two towers, the twin towers collapsed, the only thing that was left was a broken building and broken hearts. Through it all, America was united, not destroyed. We can't destroyed. We came together through this tragic event, despite of what happened. Now, 14 years later, we are still honoring the tragic day, guys. Many people may have died on 9-11, but in other ways, it made us a stronger country. People risked their lives for us. For people like us, we must be pretty important. Each one of us are. God has provided so much for this country and us as individuals living in America. And we should be thankful we still have all of our rights. We need to count our blessings and think of 
the pride our country has gained and the joy we have as individuals. Guys, we should remember 9-11 forever. It's the day of sacrifice. And I think we all need to make sacrifice sometime in our lives. And I just really want to take a moment to love and respect the people that did. And I wanted to say thank you.